Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we should not be engaging next to their castle. That's just bad strategy. Oh my god, they, have a, they actually have a lot of guys. Okay, everyone back off. Oh no. They're attacking our trebuchets. Not the trebuchets. Oh, okay, we took down their castle. I feel much better about this fight. Although, we are actually losing this fight. Oh no! The trebuchets! Get the hell out of here! No! Oh my god, they, they wiped us out! That's actually really bad. I might be in trouble here. <laughs>Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into a game by Microsoft Studios and Ensemble Software known as Age of Empires 2, colon, The Age of Kings. This is a classic real-time strategy game, and I was actually huge into real-time strategy games back in the day. I, I played Dune 2. Uh, way back when it was new, and I became obsessed with it. When Command & Conquer came out, I bought the game, even though I didn't have a computer that had a CD-ROM drive, uh, or that was good enough to even run the game, if I could somehow get it on discs. So I uh, bought it to install on friends' computers and beg them to let me play, them, uh, play the game at their house. Um, Warcraft, Starcraft, I played all those games, loved them, but I never got into Age Empires. I never got into Age of Empires here, and in this little opening cutscene, two kings are playing a game of chess, and it's a metaphor for a battle on, uh, you know, the actual real world, I suppose. Um, I think this sounds kind of petty, but the, the reason I didn't get into Age of Empires, I think, is that I didn't like the graphics. The graphics just looked too real to me, and I like the sort of uh, cartoony, stylized graphics of... You know, Dune 2, Warcraft, Starcraft, even Command & Conquer. It was realistic, but in a sort of stylized way. I think, honestly, I found the graphics of Age of Empires, all of them, to look just a little stiff. Um, which is weird. I mean, I don't know why I felt that way. But, like, I'm just telling you honestly, like, the game just visually didn't pull me in. And I can't quite put my finger on why. But I have played the tutorial, by the way, to get ready for today. And the game is remarkably easy to learn if you're f at all familiar with any real-time strategy game like Warcraft and uh, Starcraft and all that. It has a terrific interface, which really helps even newbies figure out what's going on. So this game is actually really well done. I'm looking forward to uh, playing it here today. And we're going to go with a random game. Um, other players, we're going to amp this up to four... Uh, actually, maybe we should amp it down to three. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to play against three random AIs so we can set all of our features here. There's different civilizations to pick from. Let's see. What would be a fun civilization to be? Every civilization has a couple of special units. And I actually don't know what any of the special units are. So I know the basics of this game. You need farms and you need uh, houses and you uh, upgrade into different areas. Uh, ages and so on and so forth but uh, other than that I'm gonna be flying by the seat of my pants so hopefully we'll turn the computer onto an easy mode and also by having multiple multiple AIs hopefully they infight and they fight one another a little bit um, so let's see how about we be I want to be like a, a tough a tough uh, group how about the Vikings the Vikings are pretty tough right uh, I, th I I'm thinking like I want like the barbarian Klingon you know, battle race. All right, data set, original game, that's fine. Random map is fine. Standard, location, coastal, map size, five players, four players, because that's how many players we have. Couldn't count there for a minute. Difficulty, easiest? Um, okay, I'm going to leave it on easiest just because we want a bit of a show here today. And again, it's my first time playing a, a random map. I did play the tutorial. Resources, standard, population. Could this go higher? Oh, yeah, I can. Let's leave it at 200. Game speed, normal. Everything else sounds about right, so why not? Uh, let's go ahead and start the game. And off we go. We are the Vikings into the world of Age of Empires. Um... So here we are in the world of Age of Empires. You have these villages, uh, villagers, and they basically... Oh, there's a bunch of sheep here. 
Um, they basically can gather food, gather resources. So one of the first things you usually want to do is uh, start gathering food. So we've got only two villagers, three villagers. Okay, everyone's going to start farming the sheep. Meanwhile, I'm going to start exploring with this guy. And I'm going to start building some more villagers. So I will try to explain things as I go. Here's some gold. Uh, as I realized during the tutorial, you don't really need gold till much later in the game. So in the tutorial, I was harvesting it really early because I'm sort of like of the Warcraft mentality where it's like wood and gold are the two primary resources. Uh, but that is not the case here. Okay, we're going to want to build a house. Houses are where uh, your units live. Oh, there's some rock. We'll need that. Uh, I'm looking for berry bushes, actually, because... Ah, uh, there we go. I was going to say, we need somewhere, some, some big resource uh, for food. Okay, so now that we've got that, uh, basically, these sheep are going to die a slow death. And as they do, um, I'm just going to let one guy harvest all the sheep. These two other guys are going to go start picking berries. So our civilization of Vikings is, is started off as sheep eaters, and we've rapidly changed into a bunch of uh, vegan berryites. Um, there's this handy button here, uh, Idle Villager, because it's sometimes difficult to know like where you have idle villagers, but I've got one right over here, so uh, I'm going to go and assign her to... Okay, she, the berries are over there. The windmill is another place where villagers can deposit food. So I'm going to build a windmill right next to the berry bushes so that these guys can just return food right there. And that's basically what's going on. All right. And here's my lone taskmaster. Master. His name is Thorgard. And he comes and he whips the villagers. Harvest those sheep better, peasant. Peons, I was born to an upper-class father. I look down on you. You can also, I think, get multiple people to build a building, and then it builds faster, but I don't see the point in that. He's just going to whip them until they build it faster. Oh, look, there's a donkey turning, I guess, uh, the mill. All right, so now we can grind our berries up into delicious berry juice, and that's going to be good for us somehow. Okay, I'm going to continue to build Pump Out Villagers. Meanwhile, Thorgard will go on more explorations. You can fish. You can build boats that uh, harvest the fishies. You can do all kinds of stuff. So I like how the Vikings, by the way, started in an Arctic area. That feels somehow very appropriate. So see, there's fish there. I could assign villagers to be fishermen if I wanted. I feel like sticking with the, the berry bushes is sufficient for now. Here's all my resources, by the way. That's wood, food, gold, uh, rock, and dudes. I have six of ten dudes. We have room for three more dudes in my little uh, commune here. So we're going to go ahead and build more dudes. So here's a cool thing about the interface. If you've never played this game before, when you hover over stuff, it literally explains everything. A villager costs 50 food, gathers wood, stone, gold, builds and repairs buildings, also repairs ships, blah, blah, blah. Hit points 25, armor 3. So if if you haven't played this game before, like, like me, like when I sat down to try the tutorial, the first couple tutorials, by the way, are like a joke. They're like, how do you move a, an item? Or, uh, or a unit. They're like, left-click with the mouse button to highlight them. Then right-click somewhere on the map. Dark areas will be revealed. And it's like, okay. Oh my god, is that a bear? Some kind? What is that? A wild boar. Um, oh, when you find sheep, they suddenly come under your command. And you can, like, order them back to the village. So I can send them home to get harvested. Oh, these two sheep are rotting. Uh, we slaughtered them for no reason. Whoops. Should let my villagers continue harvesting those dudes. Um, she's not doing anything, so I will make her build a house. Uh, just like in StarCraft and all that, you gotta stay on top of, uh, you gotta stay on top of your houses and stuff. So basically, um, you always want to just be at, almost at capacity for all your, your sort of resources and demands. You just want to almost run out of houses before you build another fresh house. You want to just always have just enough money to buy what you need. And that's that means that you're maximizing the capacity of uh, of your base and your technology. So we're actually going to build another house. Why not? And continue to pump out villagers. All right, everything is going well for us. This guy is just a one-man slaughter machine. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's an opposing scout, eh? Okay, so what you can do is call everyone 
into uh, the town hall, and they will, like, all basically uh, man arrows and stuff. Oh, he's fleeing. Okay. Everybody back to work! Thorgard demands everybody back to work. So you call everyone here. It's like a bunker in StarCraft. Everyone gets in. They start throwing spears. Or I guess it's like an orc burrow from Warcraft. So it's, it's a way to uh, guard the peasants. The lower classes. Keep them nice and safe. All right. Now, can we upgrade a technology? No, we cannot. Uh-oh. All right, everybody. Everybody. Can I slaughter this guy? Okay, Thorgard's going to give him a, the chase of his life. Meanwhile, okay, who is who is idle? Anyone? Anyone? Okay, this guy, he's taking three hit points of damage, and he's just continuing to run. Oh, he's taking even more damage. All right. Um, let's see. What do we want here? Um, we want a farm? Not enough wood. Okay. Oh, Thorgard. Where are you going, bud? <laughs> All right. Um, hold on here. Hold on here. We want to upgrade to the next technology level. Um, we need... Maybe we're not ready for it. I'm going to gonna start harvesting wood. We just need to, like, stay on top of things here. And, in fact, I will even build a lumber camp. I don't have enough wood for that. All right. More villagers! Thorgard demands s servants. <laughs> so, the interesting thing about the AI here... And we will sort of see how this works out. But the AI in the original Age of Empires was criticized as being too easy. And it's kind of interesting why that came about. Basically, the developers... Oh, I have so many guys harvesting uh, food. I can tone that down a bit. The developers basically wanted to create AI that didn't cheat. So the AI didn't give itself any unfair advantages. It didn't sort of have shortcuts or access to things that players couldn't do. And I think that's like pretty admirable to uh, develop AI uh, in that sort of mold. Um, I'm starting to feel pretty vulnerable, by the way. Can I just say that? Maybe I should build some uh, barracks or something. Just so I could like kind of defend myself. 175 wood. I need so much wood. I didn't realize how much wood I needed. I was so focused on food. But, okay. I can spend some gold to make my guys harder to kill. I think I should totally do that. Um, but yes, anyway, the, the developers of the original Age of Empires made the computer extra fair, and as a result, um, the AI was actually just too easy. So for this game, they wanted to make uh, the AI uh, better, but they also didn't want it to cheat. So all of this is to say, I don't know how much better the AI got, uh, but... I mean, I guess we're going to find out, you know, since we're, we're playing this. I mean, we do have a couple of AIs on super easy, so I'm expecting them to be pretty easy. Um, but I guess we shall see. All right. Here's what I want to do. I really should build a barracks. So we're going to build a barracks right down here. I think that's a good place to build it. So we're kind of building our units out into the world. Um, I think so from my days of StarCraft and Warcraft and Command and & Conquer and all that, you kind of want... Uh, more vulnerable buildings kind of towards the center of your base and then you want um tougher buildings out um sort of you know out and exposed so what else can we build here let's build a lumber camp over here that will significantly speed up our lumber harvesting oh this guy came back this jerk guess he's just running around <laughs> scouting the map Theordic the enemy. Wait, who am I? Oh, I'm J1001. I thought it would say Thorgard. The barracks is built. All right. Here's my idle guy. I think we can, by the way... So once you build two buildings from the Dark Ages, you can upgrade your technology to the next age. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Meanwhile... Okay, now we really do need food. We're going to uh, start building some farms here. Uh, build another farm if we can afford it. Yes, we can. Build it right here. Everybody's going to be walking through the farms. That's how we do in this, uh, in this little commune here. Not enough wood. Ain't it always the way? You go to build a farm and you just ain't got enough wood. Build one right there. There, look at that. 
So the the all the harvest is gonna go right into the mill right here. It's all very efficient. These people live right outside of the farm. Nobody gets to go home from their work. They have to bring their work home with them. Basically, let's build another house. One right there. There we go. Nice little Sim City of a village there. I don't know if that's efficient or what. Um, we should build a couple of uh, militia guys. So I'm gonna start working on that. We're slowly running out of food, which means we need. More food dudes. So, should we build? I mean, I guess I can't build any more villagers right now. But I totally can keep doing this. I can keep building farms. Oh, I don't want both of you to do that. You keep on the wood. Okay, we have a lot of wood right now. Or actually, we don't have tons. We have like a, a modest amount of wood. So food is what you need to mainly build dudes. Oh, look, and we just upgraded, so now we're in uh, the feudal age. There we go. So we've upgraded to a new technology. This house is kind of out by itself. It's kind of, uh, you know, an aberration, uh, aberration off by itself there. This one guy lives out there, I guess. Um, all right, we can now afford to build a watchtower of some kind if we want. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's build a tower right here to defend all the little uh, peons. And meanwhile, we will send someone to harvest that food. All right, everything else seems to be going pretty good. I'm going to build a few more dudes uh, to harvest resources because one thing I've learned from StarCraft is you can never have enough workers. You want to basically be harvesting resources like crazy. Hey, look, this bush has 77 stakes in it. <laughs> That is an amazing bush. Oh my god, we're growing steaks. I like how all the food is steaks. It's like the uh, prototypical food item. We're just, somehow we're, we're growing steaks, man. Look at all those delicious ground steaks. Just growing in the ground there. Uh, we can upgrade our dudes. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Not enough gold. Oh, we actually need a different resource for once. So I'm going to send these two guys to start getting gold, actually. And we'll send uh, this guy to get gold. I'm going to start sending some guys to get wood, or sorry, rock, too. Actually, we have like 400 wood. Why don't I just send two of these guys? In fact, why don't I send three of these guys? Or is it like one dude and two ladies? I like how the villagers are like half female, half male. Totally makes sense. Um, but yes, to create new villagers, all you need is food. I like, by the way, how it's like creating villager, create villager. It's like, like I imagine it's it's a, what they do is they're like, hey, we need another person in this village. All right, some a couple of you guys start mating with each other and give us a baby. We need uh we need more slave labor. Like, how do you create a person out of nothing? Um, also, you only need food. So I imagine two villagers get sequestered. They make a lot of love, they eat a lot of ground steaks, and eventually a baby comes. That's how babies are made, people, according to the Age of Empires. Um, now, we could build one more of these, but I guess we're low on rock. So, All right, do we have any idle villagers? We totally do. This guy is hiding behind the, the houses. He doesn't want to be doing work. We're going to make him work at the gold mines as punishment. Or actually, can we build like a mining thing over here? Um, blacksmith lets you upgrade. Use to deposit stone and gold. Let's go ahead and build a little uh, gold depositing region. Oh, look at this. This is. Oh, I like how my soldiers are watching this. This is like, uh, you know, in all those like movies, the prisoners who are like forced into like labor camps. Uh, the thing they always do in those like old timey movies is they break rocks. It's like what prisoners in jail do. <laughs> the mining camp. All right, let's set up a little mining camp right here. So my guys don't have to walk as far to go back. Increases line of sight of buildings by four so they see enemies from a longer distance. Who cares about that? Um, all right. So I think our village is doing pretty good. Guess I'll build more villagers. Oh, I hear... Oh, hello. This guy just decided to come and explore my village, did he? Okay, I'm going to, by the way, also... so. Add farm to the queue is automatically replanted. So farms will expire, but you can set them up to be automatically replanted. So we have one, two, three, four. All right, hopefully that takes care of itself. Um, 
I don't like that these guys are just randomly walking into my uh, village. I feel I feel unsettled that they can do that. All right, let's see what other buildings we can build. Uh, okay, we want military buildings. Let's build uh, an archer's range. And then we will build a cavalry area. I have such a small puny army. I, I really need to, like, build more dudes. All right. We can finally afford this upgrade, I think. Yes, we can. There we go. Let's upgrade our guys. Um, one of these guys is a villager. Didn't mean to grab him. All right. Back to the work camps. The slave, the spice mines of Kessel 4 for you. Hard physical labor. These guys are, like, people in town that were causing trouble. They're kind of like the criminals. And they're going to work themselves to death, slaving away cracking stones. Meanwhile, Thorgard, riding on his horse, will come and inspect them and whip them so they work harder. Hopefully they never rise up against Thorgard. Um, all right, we can build archers now. Let's also build cavalry. Right, 175 wood. Oh my god, how did we run out of wood? We don't have enough wood. That is crazy. Okay, let's uh, build a couple more dudes. Because we can afford the food. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here's uh, the spice mines of Kessel 7 over here. We just have uh, various, various spicing mines going on. Um, all right, so we also want this. Oh, my God, look at this jerk just riding through our village. Hopefully he does not attack us. The computer seems uninterested in actually engaging us. So that's pretty good. Can I afford one of these? 25 wood and 125 stone, yeah. I'm just going to build a couple of guard towers randomly dispersed so that my guys are nice and protected. Because I don't like the fact that the computer is sort of like scouting me. Not enough wood. Now we have enough. Boom, there we go. Also, the watchtowers will sort of act as like the where the guards stand and the watch over all the peasants to make sure the peasants are working hard. If the peasants don't work, they get whipped. That's how we work. Uh, meanwhile, let's uh, we need more wood. I don't know how we're we're so low on wood, but we need wood. Hey, there's two guys working on this. They're working as a team. Go team go. All right, here's our pathetic army. We can actually afford to build some stuff though. We could build cavalry if we want. We can build skirmisher, ranged unit with armor uh, versus archer attacks. Or we can create archers. Okay. Um, okay, you go back to the spice mines. You build us a house because we're actually running out of places for y'all to live. Right there, why not? And what is this? Infantry have plus two line of sight. Again, I'm not really worried about that. All right, you need more houses. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, idle workers. There's one over here not doing her job. Go ahead and mine some rock. All right. This guy's just gonna be slowly pelted with arrows as he uh, runs around. Yeah, you try and scout us. Now you can build walls and stuff, I guess. But uh, I guess we're not doing that. See, look at that. He's, he's, like, not interested in attacking me. He just wants to, like, see what's going on. He's a, he's a very curious enemy. Um, all right. I think we can afford to upgrade, by the way. 800 food, 200 gold, and two feudal buildings. Well, we have the gold. We just don't necessarily have the food. Let's queue some of these things up. There we go. So we have one, two, three, four farms. I could probably support one more farm, given how much gold I'm uh, bringing in. Or how much wood I'm bringing in, I should say. There we go. This is the farming era, uh, area. I like how easy it is to farm. You just pick a, splot of, a plot of land, just sprinkle some seeds, and you're golden. You got your meat steaks before you know it. All right, 175 meat steaks. Good to go. Um, inexhaustible resource, those meat steaks. Meanwhile, my army's up to four guys. No, five guys, I think. No, wait. Wait, wait. Nope, it's four. <laughs> I thought there was five in there. Two militia and two horsemen. I really need to get on top of this. Um, the thing is, though, I really want to upgrade my uh, era, but I guess what we will do is focus on 
building up some units. And then we'll go to war. And while we're at war, villagers mine gold faster, villagers mine stone faster. None of, I don't need them to mine stuff faster is the, the interesting thing. I'm fine at the speed they're going. Um, eventually you can get monks, and apparently monks are like a unit that can like force other units to join you. Uh, farms produce plus 75 food. Oh my god, why didn't I research that earlier? Yes, we need our farms to last longer. That's just, why wasn't I doing that? Um, yeah, but apparently the monks... Oh, look, this guy is coming for a little bit of a battle. Oh, we killed him. Yes. So much for scouting our base. Um, the monks can heal your units, and they can convince enemies to, like, join your side, which is pretty hilarious. So, yeah, monks are a good unit later in the game, apparently. So we're going to try and get some monks on our side. As this forest gets cleared, eventually we'll build some farms over here, I think. I think that'll be my strategy. Also, we need to remember to continue to build units and to continue to build houses. All right, go ahead, explore my town. It's great. We have watchtowers everywhere and they pelt you with arrows, man. Oh, you're going to love it. I feel like my arrows are missing. Oh, look, my dudes are like running across the whole map. Um, this is actually not good. They're getting lured into like a far corner here. Hiya, hiya! All right, this soldier needs to go back. I wish there was a button for like idle soldiers. All right, Thorgard and his friend, I don't know, Slam, Slam Gore. <laughs> I'm the worst at making up names. I don't know what that name is supposed to be. It's a terrible name though, I'll tell you that. Oh, there's an archer over here too. I think my units are just gonna gradually get lost if I don't pay attention. To them which makes sense okay everyone gets numbered so you can't create groups in this game and it's good for keeping your characters together um all right you build another house and do we have enough to upgrade yet so close 600 food it tempts me to not build any more units okay here's our plan we're gonna upgrade to one more technology level and then once we do then we're going to roll out hardcore. What is that? A wolf. Interesting. Then we're going to roll out hardcore. Once we have... Oh, you want some? <laughs> we just... Oh, no, the wolf is still attacking us. There we go. So once we have one more technology level, then we'll roll out hardcore. And Oh, look at all these resources. Okay, good to know there's gold over here if we need it. And lots of wood. So we could build like a, a, a camp out there if we need it. Let's see what's going on over here. Also, we do eventually want monks so they can heal us. We want the power of Jesus to heal our weary bones. Oh, we can upgrade. Uh, we're doing it. We're entering the castle age. So there's four ages. And I think the last age is the age of kings. Um, potentially. Not 100% sure. Oh, look at all that sweet gold. We're totally going to take that eventually. They just got to uh, upgrade to a sufficient technology level. The gold will be useful. Um, now, this is kind of like the civilization of real-time strategy games. So I likened it to Warcraft and Starcraft. And it is like those games, but it also has a has a mix of civilization. Which, again, you'd think I would I would have loved this game growing up. Because I really liked civilization. Uh, and I liked, again, Warcraft, Starcraft, Command and & Conquer and all that. But again, this game, I don't know. Just for whatever reason, it didn't. the graphics didn't appeal to me in a weird way. And it kind of kept me away. Um, but yes, this game is like Civilization, and when I sat down to play it today, and I realized you could upgrade ages, I was like, oh man, can you get to, like, the modern age? Like, could we just fast tech towards, like, tanks and, like, uh, you know, uh, airplanes and stuff, and be, like, shooting spearmen in the Middle Ages? But apparently you cannot, which saddens me. Um, anyway, we are 69% into the Castle Age. I just, I want to see the change in my village. That occurs once we upgrade. And then we will start pumping units out heavily. Oh, another guy has come to explore my village. Good luck. He'll just be slowly pelted with arrows. The Persians. King Baram. He's probably like, oh my god. He's almost into the castle age. We're in a lot of trouble. Okay, his guy seems to have just given up. I don't know where he went. So, okay, we are here. Let, let's guess where the computers are. Oh, wait, I didn't even pay attention. Oh, look, we're in the castle age. Look at that. 
Okay, let's see what we can actually build now. I'm excited to see what we can build. Military buildings. Oh, we can build a castle. Used to create your unique uh, trebuchets and improve villager buildings. Cannot be converted by enemy monks. Sweet. Oh my god, look at this. All right, we're going to build a uh, we're going to build a, a, an awesome castle. We should like build it. I guess we want to build it somewhere where we can defend it. I wanted to build it like near the other gold mines or whatever. Let's build it like right here. That's so awesome. All right, these guys, their new goal is to defend my awesome castle. Uh Castle J Skull. Uh just like Castle Gray Skull. Oh, we can build knights. Oh my god. Yes. All right. We just we just got into kick-ass mode here. Upgrade to pikemen. Upgrade to long swordsmen. Yes. And what is all this stuff? Upgrade. Everything needs gold, which I am flush with right now. So, yes. Also, let's queue these up. That's not... Uh, we just want farms forever, meat steaks forever. What is this? Double bit axe. Villagers chop wood faster. Well, it's, it would waste food. And I actually need that food. So instead, I'm going to build a farm. And I'm going to build another farm. Instead, we're going to expand our farming area here. Look, this windmill is just surrounded by farm. That donkey is probably working himself to this. Oh, I guess now the mill is turned by the wind, not the donkey. We put the donkey down. He's dead. Farms produce more food. Yes. Yes. Continue to upgrade. Oh, look. We have knights. Oh, my God. I want to roll out so bad, but I'm like... I, I become obsessed with, like, the SimCity aspect of this game. I'm like, I just want to continue to improve my village more and more. More and more and more and more. Let's build some more villagers. Okay, what else can we build here? So we've got the castle going. That's totally awesome. Um, ooh, the monastery. That's what I want. And a university? A town center. Okay, we definitely want a monastery. Oh, look, we'll build it near the castle. There we go. And it's near guard tower. Perfect, perfect positioning, I think. Oh, man, this castle. These knights are just waiting for it, man. Knights live for castles. They are very fond of castles, I will tell you. Oh, these guys ran out of rock. Uh, maybe, actually, I can send them over here, and I can build something to protect them. And what language is she speaking, by the way? Oh, this, this is weird. And I can build a mining camp. Oh, shoot. I don't have enough gold. Oh, man. This is a great place for a mining camp because there is both gold and rock. So I'll build a camp right there. There we go. Oh, man. Once these guys are done with the gold, they can come down here. We can have a rock mining party. Rocks and gold together at last. Maybe I just put all these guys on this. Go ahead, make it really fast! And we can all mine together. Yeah! Cool. All right. Oh, and there's our castle! What does our castle do? Create petard. Demolition infantry. Okay, create a berserker. Oh, I want a berserker! Oh, we're building berserkers. Forget about uh, infantry now. We're going all berserker mode. Oh, my God. There's a monastery. The monastery is, like, almost hidden behind... Uh, Behind the castle. Okay, the monastery. We can build some... Uh... Oh, the castle is a defensive unit. Damn it, I should have built it over here. Could have helped protect the gold mine. Okay, whatever. Um, so what does this do? Monks can convert enemy... Oh my god, monks can convert monks. Monks converting monks. That's crazy. It's just a never-ending cycle of conversion. Monks move faster. What does this do? Units converted by a monk die instead of changing to the enemies. What? <laughs> Oh, so your units can't be converted. I got gotcha. you. All right, we're going to build a couple of monks. Monks don't cost food, apparently. They only cost gold. You just have to believe that a monk is possible, and a monk will be created. All right. More knights. More berserkers. Berserker. Berserker is kind of a cool name to say. Oh, my God. There's just guys hanging around. All right, back to mining gold. Oh, my God. We've become like this, this awesome self-sustaining community. Um, wood used to be so valuable, but I feel like it is rapidly losing its value. Okay, let's build some uh, crossbowmen. 
I guess. Oh my god, we got monks, we have knights. Okay, we don't want any of these guys. These guys suck now. We want uh, we want to work on knights and berserkers and monks. This is so cool. And we'll get a couple more monks. And we don't want any of those guys. Might as well work on crossbowmen. Berserkers. Okay, I think we're like tapping the amount of resources that we can actually sustain here. Man, just endless. Oh my god. All right, now we have a now we have a a scary army here. Where are the monks by the way? Here's a monk. So he can kill your units, unneeded low power units. Oh my god, monks can assassinate your own guys? Heal and convert an enemy unit. Cool. I wonder if they do that automatically. My guys seem to all be full health, so I think the monks will heal us automatically. There you go. Here's our labor camp of Kessel 9. Every single mining uh, planet is uh, Kessel something. Everyone goes here for hard labor, hard physical labor. They've done something wrong. They've messed up in life. We're going to build a lumber camp in anticipation of eventually shifting to lumber once all the mining is gone. There's no point in upgrading this because I feel like it's a waste of food. I'd rather spend the food on units. All right, this is a this is a scary army, I think. So we're gonna go ahead. Uh, oh wait, I think I got a villager in here. Yeah, <laughs> we don't want him. Oh wait, what else can we build here? There's got to be something more advanced than this. You know what? Let's build a university. Oh, we don't have enough wood for a university. All right. Universities are notorious for the amount of wood they require. Um, can we, by the way, upgrade? Oh my god, we can. A thousand food, 800 gold, and two castle age buildings. Wow. All right. Well, it's going to take us a long time to get there. So instead, let's just roll out and find an uh, enemy, enemy camp to wipe out. So here's our army of berserkers and monks and knights. It's a very intimidating army. I actually wanted to build like trebuchets or some kind of like siege weapon, but I didn't really see an option for that. Um, hold on. Is there anything in here? Palisade walls, gates. Oh, cool. I don't want to do that, but you can do that. Um, yeah, I guess eventually on the, the highest age, you probably get the ability to uh, build siege units. So, all right. We're exploring the Arctic... Land marching out very slowly. Okay, hold on. Where's the scouts? This guy is my new scout. The scout, Jerry. Jerry's going to go off and find us someone to attack. All right, Jerry. Go here. See what you got. Ooh, grass. It's not so snowy over here. Uh, gold, which one day maybe we'll mine. Oh, my God. There's a worker. All right. Jerry, you know what? Don't kill him. We need to follow him back to where he came from. Oh my god, there. Okay, now you can kill him. <laughs> um, oh, he's like casting spells. Oh, he was a monk. Oh, look at this. Couple of guys mining gold. Well, guess what? Um, I'm going to attack you. These guys are like, huh? He sent a single scout? What a fool. We'll kill him. They're like, haha, he retreated. That Is that the best you can do? Meanwhile, here comes my, like, terrifying army. <laughs> oh, they're going to kill my scout. Okay, I am going to retreat here. All right, Jerry, rejoin the ranks. Hopefully you get healed up. Can I heal this guy? Oh, yeah. Look at that. He's casting religion on him. All right, now you guys are in for it. They're like, oh, my God, there was more than one of them. There's a lot of them. Yeah! We killed this guy! Research is needed. I don't know what that said. But boom! We're just slaughtering his village. What are these guys? He, anyway, the Persians or something like that. Yeah! We did this honest, by the way. Honest and fair. You know what the funny thing is about... Uh, so I mentioned how... Hey, look at this! That's a cool windmill. I like you guys. I'm uh, sad that I have to kill you all. Oh, I can convert buildings, too. I need to research that. Um, units converted, monk can convert monks, monks move faster. Um, how about we just upgrade to the next technology level? 
thousand food. Oh, we did it! We did it! We're upgrading to another level of technology. All right, as we ra as we raise this village. Um, I like, by the way, how the buildings light on fire. We're hitting the buildings with swords and arrows, and somehow the it's like the buildings like burning. <laughs> it's like we have uh, flammable swords or something. Um, but yeah, speaking of you know the AI being too easy and uh, the AI does not cheat. Uh, one thing that's kind of funny is that uh, in the original Age of Empires, people cheated hardcore. Uh, wait, something is killing me. I think I think there are dudes in here. I think they're defending their building. How dare they? Let's destroy them before they kill all of my my berserkers, my awesome berserkers. Oh man. This building is really holding up. I think the monks are slowly trying to heal. No, Berserker, dude! Alright, I don't know if we're gonna win this fight, but we're putting up a good... We're putting up a hell of a fight. Um, demolition infantry. I should have got some of those guys. Uh, but we're busy upgrading to the... Oh, sorry, the Imperial Age. I thought it was the Age of Kings was the last age, but it's the Imperial Age. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, the AI never cheated in the original Age of Empires or in the sequel, but uh, you know who did cheat was humans. Humans cheated quite a bit in uh, the original Age of Empires. Um, and it's because the developers didn't implement a good system for patches and stuff, so they couldn't patch out bugs. And so humans just, like, were really, really bad and cheated. Um, so, uh, oh, the guys have come out now. Let's uh, kill some of these guys. Yeah, there you go. Everyone's gone back to work, except the joke's on you. We're waiting here to slaughter you all. Wow, they actually did defend fairly well against my army. Um, but I am now in the Imperial Age. Um, so yes, the AI didn't cheat. I beat them fair and square, but uh, if this was a human in the original Age of Empires, you know, maybe they would have cheated, but uh, not here. Oh my god, what is all this? Strengthens castles, villagers cause, upgrades berserkers, unless you create elite berserkers. 1,300 food, jeez. Let's make sure that uh, we're constantly reseeding our things. 250 food, good. Crop rotation. Ooh, we can upgrade our knights. 300 food, let's totally do that. Um, oh, we knocked down their town hall, man. Oh, and their farm's on fire. All right, these guys are in a lot of trouble. We've basically crippled them. I don't know how they're gonna how they're gonna get out of this one. I would like to see them get out of this one, but I I don't think it's in the cards for them. Thirteen hundred food, holy bejeez. Um, I guess we can build more food. Oh, what is this? A wonder. Demonstrates your superiority of your civilization. Stands for a certain period of time. Is one way to win the game. Cannot be converted. Oh, so we can win the game through wonders? I don't want that. I want to win the game through, like, brutally slaughtering my enemies. Builds another food thing. And we'll build one more food thing. Build food. Right there. Meanwhile, let's go ahead... Okay, a few more wood guys. What are these guys doing? The mining's still going well. Man, that mine has lasted forever. Meanwhile, can we convert buildings? Block printing. How do you get them to convert buildings? Hold on. Units converted by the enemy die. Monks move faster. Okay, how about we'll just research that for the fun of it. Uh, what is this? Berserker gang. Berserkers regenerate faster. Units at barracks are produced faster. Villagers cause more damage. Reveal all... and Oh my god, reveal all enemy units? That's OP. Okay, well eventually we'll upgrade some of these things, but I guess... Ooh, a trebuchet! Cool. And we'll build a couple berserkers. We'll build some knights. We'll build some, oh, archer dudes. We do not have enough for that. It's okay. 
Uh, I guess we'll build a couple months. Research faith. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. You can research faith itself. Of course you can. Um, Two-handed swordsman. Mm, I don't want to upgrade that. Berserk. Oh, there's my trebuchet. That'll be very effective when it comes to destroying buildings. All right, what's going on over here? Hey, what the? Oh my God, there's like another town. What? Where, where are all our my guys? Oh my God, they're all scattered over here. Okay, hold on. Every everyone regroup back here. Everybody get back in line here. That other town is crippled. Uh, ooh, a market. Hey, what does a market do? I don't have a market. Let us see. Build. Can I see a market? Wonder blacksmith market. Um, used to buy and sell resources. Trade with. Oh, I was like, why? Why are my? Why is my guard tower shooting at me? But no, it was shooting at uh, a random guy who like wandered into my village. Okay, everyone, come over here though. Um, okay, what did the market say? Use the market. Uh, research trade improvements. Trade with other players. More resistance. Bah. Who cares about that? I want to build my university. I forgot about that. Where's my uh, university? University! Peasant university. Everyone can go to school for free. We have great scholarship programs. Whether you want to be a berserker or an archer or be turned into a trebuchet, we've got you covered. Um, where are all my units, by the way? Oh, here they all are. Okay. I feel like I'm, like, losing track of people here. Continue to build cavaliers. Continue to build berserkers. And... One more trebuchet. Why not? Uh, I'm running low on gold, actually. Wasn't there more gold somewhere around here? Like right there. I'm gonna have this guy build a mining camp right there. And then we can mine some of that gold. Man, we have so many dudes. Keep these going. And I guess so you go down down there. Oh wait, what is what is that? No, I want the uh bu -bu 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 -bu. I want to build some peasants and have them go into gold production. There we go. All right. Um, what else is there to do? We've kind of maxed out our technology here. Oh yeah, another trebuchet. Um, I guess we can upgrade these guys. 300 food though. Kind of want to upgrade the berserkers to like elite berserkers. Let's you create elite berserkers, which are stronger and equipped with armor. All right, we're doing it. We're saving up for the elite berserkers. Oh, wait. You know what we should do is... Uh, do we have any idle workers? We do not, somehow. What does this do? Masonry. Strengthens all the buildings. Eliminates minimum range of towers. Um, hey, King Brahmin resigned. That was probably the guy that we desecrated. <laughs> Upgrade guard towers... Heated shots, ballistics, hmm, missiles. Oh, gunpowder. You can research gunpowder. That's kind of cool. Okay, the university was a bust. It sucks. <laughs> I don't care about the university. I want to convert buildings themselves. How do you do that? Research, convert buildings themselves. Oh, well, whatever. Let's uh, upgrade to an elite berserker because we can. And I feel like knights and berserkers are my bread and butter. Not enough food. Oh, look at this guy. He's being chased by a wolf. And he's coming to say hello to us. But we are going to slaughter him. And the wolf is on our side. I think the wolf respects power, if you ask me. <laughs> the wolf is like, uh, I will not attack you. I respect you too damn much. Uh, boom. We have elite berserkers now. So that's a thing. Um, let's go ahead and build another knight. Build a couple elite berserkers. Oh my god, we need more houses. Okay. Finally happened. We ran out of houses. 
go ahead and uh, build two houses. There we go. All right. Our team is looking good. I guess we need a couple more archers, maybe. 350 food, 300 gold. Let's do it. Keep my archers nice and upgraded. So this game uses sort of a rock, paper, scissors kind of mentality with its uh, units. So, you know, it's like ground soldiers are weak against cavalry, but cavalry is weak against spearmen and so on. So there's kind of like for every unit that's good, there's a counter, which I appreciate. I, I prefer it than to just one unit being like super good. Um, oh, man. Oh, we converted him. We converted him. We're like, join us, dude. Oh, my God. Look, these things. What the heck? Pack up. Dismantle the trebuchets. Yes. Dismantle this. Turn back into a trebuchet for me. Pack up. There we go. Interesting. So those things have to be deployed like siege tanks in StarCraft. Uh, but yeah, we convinced that guy to like come to our side. But not a moment too soon, man. I like how the monks are trying to convert him while the archers are killing him. It's like, who will succeed? Um, hold on. These things keep uh, deploying, which I do not want them to do. Hotkey. Okay, so these are going to be on hotkey number two. These guys will be hotkey number one. My siege stuff is going to uh, ride separately. Because every time I tell my army to attack, they go into siege mode and it's uh, distracting. Okay, uh, anything else worth doing here? Berserkers regenerate. Uh, I have monks to heal them, so who cares about that? What is this? Archers fire faster with 100% accuracy. Seems OP, but sure. Um, we'll take a few more knights. And we'll take a few more archers. Keep this nice and maxed out. There we go. My farms are never going to run out now. All right, I think it's time to uh, go destroy the red team. Because why not? The red team really pisses me off. Oh, no, you know who really pisses me off? These guys. All right, we're doing it. Everyone attack. Oh, that guy's running away. He's like, oh, shoot. I know what's coming for me. Forget that noise. All right. I'm gonna have my trebuchets just sort of hang around here. And let my units sort of randomly slaughter one another. All right, so the trebuchets, where's their town square? Cause that's what I want a trebuchet down. I guess the trebuchets can go and attack this. Oh, they have crazy range. What, they set up over there? All right, oh yeah, look at them go. Oh, we're hurling rocks at them. Yeah. All right. We won this battle pretty decisively. I like how, like, all the, uh, you know, the monk. You can just hear the monks healing people in there. Magical faith. Religion is helping people stay alive and healthy. Oh, this guy got converted. <laughs> He's on our side now, buddy. The villager's like, no, Jerry, I know you. He's like, I work for Thorgard now. Okay, let's see. We want to attack this. So we want to pack these up. There we go. I don't know. Pack, pack them up. Oh, the archers are getting in on it. All right, heal us with pleasant pleasantries, monks. The monks are making everyone feel good about their life choices. Meanwhile, we're going to go here. Just destroy their town hall with some trebuchets. So obviously on the easiest difficulty here, like, we're clearly going to win. But, uh, you know, we just have, like, a, a, a crushing army, but obviously there's more strategy to it. It's like you have to pick the right units to counter the units that, you know, your opponent is creating and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. But, oh, my God. All right, the trebuchets are really just going to do work here. Oh, and by the way, there are relics. Monks can pick up relics and turn those in for gold. So, let's see. Monks, come get this stuff. Or don't. I don't care. <laughs> oh! Those trebuchets, man, are really, really devastating. All right, you know what? You guys just have fun pillaging for a while. I'm going to go work on some upgrades here. 
Um, all right, we got more more knights over here. Um, I guess berserkers regenerate. Sure, why not? Um, you know what I have not got is a blacksmith, and the blacksmith can upgrade uh, upgrade dudes. Let's go ahead and get one of those. Build a blacksmith right here. Why not? How's it going over here? You guys having fun? Is everybody having fun desecrating the enemy? I think everybody's having fun. Hey, look, priest. Oh, he got the artifact. Look, he's carrying around the uh, the artifact. Drop the relic. Stop the current action. Kill your unit. Man, I love how the priests can just totally, or the monks. The monks can totally just like kill one of your own units. All right, bring the trebuchets over here. Oh, look, they have a port. We did not build any C units this game, but I think it's just because they're really not needed for us anyway. All right, go ahead and uh, uh, get into attack mode over here. All right, we're going to let these guys have a bit of fun. Look at them. It's the best day of their life. They're just burning down all the enemies. And kaboom! That one berserker who's attacking this building probably gets got such a rush when, like, three trebuchets attacked all at once. There we go, man. There we go. It's how you do. Garrison, kill your unit. Oh, the, you can kill... Oh, every unit can kill itself. I see. I thought the monks had a special power to kill your units. I'm being attacked by Charlemagne. Oh my god, they have ships. They have ships. All right, you know what? We do not have a navy. So everyone back off. Everyone back off. That is like their one saving grace. They're like, we have a navy. We're not done yet. All right, you guys can have the sea. I, I, I surrender the sea to you. Meanwhile, we're going to go gather over here for one final assault. How many computer players were there? There's three, I think. So we're like close to wiping them all out. A um, couple of berserkers in here. No, wait. Where's my berserkers? I guess I didn't build any. Let's build some. Um, where's my blacksmith? So infantry and cavalry have plus one attack. Infantry have more armor. Cavalry have more armor. Let's go with attack, I guess. Oh my god, wait, that, that boat is on the land. What the heck? The boat somehow got onto the land. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Um, where is these guys? Oh god, they're... What, how are their boats coming onto the land? That's, that's nonsense. <laughs> um, those boats have some range, let me tell you. Look! What? <laughs> the boats are literally coming on the land! What? <laughs> that's... What? That doesn't make any sense. That makes no sense at all. All right, where are my trebuchets? Oh no, my trebuchets are gonna get attacked by the boats. Go, run. Just ignore those that weird boat that's landlocked for some reason. All right, we have to find, oh my God, they have a castle. All right, well, this is the fight we've been waiting for. So, we're gonna come in here and attack! I don't know if we're converting them or they're converting us. But our guys are dropping. Boom, boom, boom! Okay, we should not be engaging next to their castle. That's just bad strategy. Oh my god, they, have a, they actually have a lot of guys. Okay, everyone back off. Oh no! They're attacking our trebuchets! Not the trebuchets! Oh, okay, we took down their castle. Good. Alright. I feel much better about this fight. Although, we are actually losing this fight. Oh no! The trebuchets! Um, pack up! Get the hell out of here! No! Oh my god, they, they wiped us out! They won the fight! Unbelievable! Okay, it is time to rebuild. I can't believe I lost a fight. I was so arrogant. I was so cocky, guys. I thought that this was a, a done deal. Meanwhile, the computer was uh, waiting for me. They knew I was coming. Build a couple more trebuchets here. All right, we'll get some rock as well. 
Let's uh, actually upgrade our guys this time. 220 food, 120 gold. Do it! Oh, we need monks? Where are the monks? Alright. Come on, monkeys. <laughs> monkeys. Alright, we're gonna have monks, archers, knights, berserkers. Man, I can't believe we lost that fight. We did take out their castle, though. Which is very satisfying, but... Hmm... I wonder what's going on over there. I wonder if those boats are still landlocked. Um, okay. <laughs> I've been talking so much about this game. I, I did write down some interesting notes about this game. I guess we'll, while we are rebuilding, um, a few other things I can mention about this game, which is kind of interesting, is that I this game was actually leaked many times. Um, oh, we have just guys who are doing nothing, by the way. This game had a huge problem with uh, leaks back uh, back when it was uh, being developed. And it was actually leaked so much that it was a common game uh, that was even being sold illegally on, like, Whereas sites. You guys remember Whereas sites? Like, W-A-R-E-Z. Like, Whereas. Um, and, like, game is Like, games with a Z. Um, those were, I mean, that, that's how you downloaded, like, pirated copies of games and stuff back in the day. I haven't thought of the word whereas in forever. But yeah, this game was pirated so much, a number of incomplete versions of this game were released, uh, illegally. And, uh, you know, sort of downloaded and sold and stuff. Which is too bad, but apparently, uh, you know, it was, like, quite to the ire of the developers. Which I can totally understand. Like, you spend all this time develop, trying to develop a good game. It just totally gets released illegally. Like, that That sucks. Um, oh, we don't want... Uh, we don't want that. We want... One of these guys. Alright, we're gonna have such a big army. We're gonna have an even bigger army than the last time we encountered those guys. So, I, I'm feeling confident we can go... We can just storm in and decimate them, but... I guess we should not feel overconfident. Um, the other thing is this game was such a huge success that there was a port on the PS2, which I've always found that, uh, you know, console ports of real-time strategy games don't really work as well as on the PC. Um, okay, I don't want that. Uh, basically, like, I remember playing Command & Conquer for the PS1, and it was okay, but it's like, I would have rather been playing on a PC. Like, I think PC games just work better with like a mouse and keyboard or real-time strategy games work better with a mouse and keyboard whereas you know games like first person shooters and platformers and fighter games like all sorts of other kinds of games work just fine with the controller but just not real-time strategy games in my opinion so um yeah this game was released on ps2 um actually i, I know there's a starcraft version uh, that's on the N64, which sounds crazy, because, like, the N64 couldn't really handle StarCraft, so it's, like, it's not, like, the PlayStation 1 Command & Conquer was at least Command & Conquer, but just on the PlayStation, but the StarCraft N64 is, like, a modified version of the game, um, so that's kind of interesting, uh, one day I would like to actually try that. The N64 also has a modified version of Doom, which is kind of interesting, um, so, yeah, there's, there's weird versions of games on the N64, uh, but yes, this this game uh, came out on the PS2, which is kind of interesting. I think I personally would prefer to play it on PC as we are right now, but, uh, you know, there you go. And there was also a version of this on the Nintendo DS, if you can believe it. So let's go ahead and destroy the monastery. And these guys are just going to protect things. Oh, there's a monk who thinks he can bring a relic back to his castle. That ain't happening. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Pack this up. Okay, these guys are all just going to defend. Meanwhile, we're going to sneak attack with the trebuchets. And we're actually going to go and destroy their town center. There we go. All right. It's a, it's a fracas in here. It's a melee. Guys are just being attacked from all directions. I can't tell who's on whose team. The monks are busy converting people. In the middle of the battle, the monks are like, Excuse me, have you heard of the awesomeness of Gaming J? You really want to be part of his army? Let me tell you the advantages. The guy's like getting hacked and attacked from different angles. Meanwhile, my monks are doing a pretty good job of convincing them that my side is a pretty, pretty good side to be on. 
I mean, you know what else convinces the enemy that your side is a good side to be on? When they look around and see that all of their friends have been slaughtered and they're the only ones left, then they start to think, you know what? Maybe I'm on the wrong side. Maybe I'm going to switch sides here. And that's how you convert uh, your enemy to be your ally. Um, hey, they have a university. I don't like it. I don't like competing academic institutions in my enemy's camp, so we're going to go ahead and destroy that. We're going to go ahead and destroy the university. Oh my god, they have a second castle? Ridiculous. Okay, I don't want them attacking me. Castles are not to be trifled with. I respect the castle. Alright, here you go. Kaboom! Gonna take our time destroying their castle very gradually. Um, yeah, could you imagine this game on the Nintendo DS? I don't even know what that would be like. Um, apparently, it's not a full port of this game. It's more like a spin-off. So I, I'm not even sure what the DS version is like. But there is a mobile version of this game. Like this game was ported to mobile uh, somehow. I don't. Again, I don't even know what that would fully be like. But it is a thing. Um, all right, man, we have dominated these guys. All right, where are my dudes? What are my dudes up to? I kind of want more gold because I want to buy that thing to reveal all enemies. Oh, it only costs a thousand gold. All right, let's just do it. Um, all right, that's kind of interesting that you can buy that. It's so, like if you hit a point where like you really don't need money, you can just see where everyone is. <laughs> just reveal the entire map. All right, here's the entire map. The enemy is in a bad shape. There's just a couple of soldiers uh, running off. Roman centurions. They're like, screw that noise, man. I ain't getting slaughtered. I'm out of here, man. I don't want to join Gaming Jay's team. That Thorgard guy is a real taskmaster. He'll probably put me to work and whip me when I don't work fast enough. Remember when we were just a small little commune of villagers and I would whip them to make them work faster? Those were the, the simpler times. Simpler times. I could just whip my villagers. I guess I can still whip them if I want. Okay, so there's some villages over here. I think this guy gave up. He's like, forget it, I, I, I've i lost. So he gave up. There's some boats hanging out down here for some reason. I'm sure we can... Oh, that one, that one thing burned down. Okay, so there's one over there. These guys are still fishing for some reason. They're like, we watched our entire village get wiped out. Everyone we ever knew or loved is gone, but we still fish together. It's the only thing that they do. There's a male and a female fishing. They could repopulate the earth, guys. You never know. There's just a bunch of random soldiers running around in, in disarray here. Disbelief that their village no longer exists. Um, all right. Slaughter this guy. This guy's still gathering wood. He's like, until the until the day they pry the axe out of my cold dead hands, I will I will harvest wood. All right, let's make a uh, let's make a knight death squad. A bunch of knights are just gonna roam around and slaughter the uh, random soldiers. They're still just roaming around for some reason. Um, all right, we killed that guy. All right, well, uh, I guess at this point we uh, should go kill that windmill, maybe. Up. Oh, look at all the artifacts they had. The relics. Hmm. Um. Oh, no, that is still there. Huh. I wonder if we can destroy the boat with the trebuchets. All right, these guys are marching in good military fashion. Meanwhile, the trebuchets. Oh, hello. Kill that guy. That guy displeases me. Kill him. What if my berserkers can move fast enough to, to kill him? Is that in range? Can the trebuchets actually attack that? Interesting to see. Oh, it totally can. Oh, the boat's like, oh, forget it. <laughs> okay, well, we can at least get that. Let's kill this guy, too. You're being attacked by the... Oh, my God. He's a bunch of boats. Hmm. Maybe we should build boats, I guess. Or maybe I don't need to. I can uh, just get my trebuchets. Okay, we'll uh, 
Carry on up here. Oh my god, this guy's attacking me! Look at him! He's so brave! Dude, I respect you. But I am going to kill you. <laughs> wow, that guy, that guy, uh... He deserves all the medals. You know what? You destroy that watchtower, buddy. I will give you that one. Just kidding. You're dead. Alright. Any more random dudes around here think that they can take me on? You want to take on Gaming J? You don't know what you're in for. We destroy this. Franks to Charlemagne. I don't know how to get the enemies to surrender. We have a diplomacy thing here. Um, our stance neutral. Enemy. Oh, well, I guess uh, you you need a market to pay tribute. I guess there's actually even politics in this. You can like offer to be neutral or whatever with different enemies. All right, destroyed that. You're being attacked. Am I though? Am I really? Who's attacking me? Anyone? Oh, there's this guy. He's coming in for it, is he? All right, let's destroy him. I don't. I see barely any other. Oh wait, there's a guy over here. I'm gonna send one knight to hunt this guy down. Meanwhile, these guys are gonna come destroy this. Um. So yeah, I guess there's sort of like a diplomacy element. This really is like. Um, this really is like civilization meets, uh, Warcraft. Like, it really is. Alright, we did that. All those guys were, like, bringing the fish back, and they're like, uh, what? Uh, a roaming band of Vikings just wiped out our home and everyone we ever loved. Again! Again! It happened. Okay, we'll go and destroy that. Okay, how do you win this game? <laughs> Have we won yet? King Brahmin. Warning, you are being attacked. What does this do? You can chat with people. You can ask them for wood and stuff. Interesting. So I, I'm very curious how multiplayer matches of this actually played out back in the day. Like, I wonder if people were, like, busy trading resources and forming alliances. Probably. That is a fire ship. Well, good for that. Um, let's come over here. And see if we can destroy. Okay, we're, we totally got this. Come over here and see if we can destroy this thing. hey -oh! Aha, they're too far away for them to attack me. Okay, is this it? We might have to, if this does not wipe out the enemy, we might have to go for a diplomatic ending here. Figure out what they want and give it to them. Okay, wait, what? There's, they have no buildings left. What are, oh, they have one building. Are you serious? And another one? Wait, that's King Brahmin. He gave up. All right, well, we beat the game. I don't know. There's, clearly you have to do something to win. Um, here's our tech tree, by the way, in case you were curious. Here's all the different things that we can, uh, ex you know, get and they can get. You can see the tech tree for different races. So things are just slightly different for the Japanese for the Huns, for the Chinese, and so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, I think we won. Standard game, win this game by constructing a wonder by capturing all relics or by destroying all enemies. Oh, oh, okay. Let's just build a relic and be done with this then. Boom, oh, that's an awesome relic. All right, everyone help on the relic. The relic is going to, oh my God, 0%. Okay, hold on. We, we have a lot of peasants. This is what peasants are made for, right? They uh, are going to all come over here. Every single peasant in existence. You're all being called home, boys. We're building the wonder. We're doing it. 2%. Oh, my God. Okay, you know what? Just start creating peasants for this very purpose. Meanwhile, we're going to build some houses. Anyone who is not helping build the wonder, get your butt over here right now. I didn't realize this thing would take so long. Oh yeah, look, everyone's coming home. Everyone's coming home to help. Well, I think, I think honestly, we won through a military victory. We did totally vanquish the enemy, but I don't know how to actually get them to surrender. So they're a stubborn bunch. 
We're gonna bring all of our dudes home. Uh, I'm gonna kill these guys. Because why not? I don't need my trebuchets anymore. And that will give me room to create more, more villagers. More villagers! And build a house. Just continue to build houses. All the knights are coming home. Look at that. Oh man, that tower almost got destroyed. I wonder if you can like just tear it down. No, you can't. There's no point, but... Um, you know what? Let's kill this knight too. <laughs> he just committed suicide. He gazed on the glory of the, the wonder that was being constructed and was like, I am not worthy. All right, everybody. 22%. 22%. Here we go. We're just popping out villager after villager. Keep the houses coming. So that we uh, don't run out of food supply. We could have... I think our max supply was like 200 in this. We never cracked like 70 realistically. Oh man, look at all the guys building. This thing takes forever. You can count like the individual hit points going up. I mean, they're going up fast. It has a ton of hit points. What's the normal amount of hit points? Like 900... What does the castle have? 4,800. That's what this thing has. I bet when I build this thing, it's going to be like, uh, you know, accept victory and you click it and it's going to take like 10 minutes to load. <laughs> Something stupid. Uh, let's build another house. These are the houses of the people who are building. Let's bring our whole army to watch. Our whole army is here to watch the wonder go up. It's a glorious day in the land of Jatopia. The farming community of Jtopia. Man, I have so many resources. I just, like, I can't even spend it all. I'm never going to run out of farm now. It's a glorious paradise we've got going on here. The university is completely unused. It's completely ceremonial in nature. Here comes our army. We're going to start whipping all the peasants to make them work faster. Look how fast they're hammering already. All right, Thorgard, start whipping people. Go back to your roots, Thorgard. Witch! Witch! He's just whipping them. They're not working any faster, but it may, it's fun for him. It's fun for him to whip the lower classes. Thorgard appreciates being a cruel taskmaster. All right. Build more villagers faster! Jeez, I can't believe how many people are working on this thing and how slow it's going. So Age of Empires 2 is one of the games in the book, a thousand one video games you must play before you die. And I think this is a great game for anyone out there who likes real-time strategy games, like Warcraft, like Starcraft, like Command & Conquer, all those games. This seems like a, a pretty cool game. I didn't fully explore the sort of uh, rock, paper, scissors uh, elements of all the units because I just built like a, a Doom Squad and rolled over the whole map, but um, I see that it's there. Um, I really like the interface in this game, how when you hover over buildings and units, you can actually like see what the different things are. So it was very easy to figure out. I was never sort of lost or confused. And just my basic knowledge uh, from other real-time strategy games kind of prepared me for what I needed to know here. So yeah, kind of a cool game. But the only thing that's uh, a little perplexing is how you actually win a match. So maybe someone can leave a comment down below and let me know what I was doing wrong. But uh, as far as, you know, the 1001 uh, games goes, if you have not played this game, like me, maybe you avoided it too because the graphics look too realistic, as weird as the criticism as that is. I fully acknowledge it's a weird criticism, guys. Um, but if you avoided this game, like me, I think it is time to give it a shot. Um, it seems like, uh, like a fun game. And if you play it on harder difficulties, uh, I'm sure, certain you'll be in for quite a challenge. Boom! You will win the game if it stands for 200 years! What? Oh my god. 196 years. 195. Okay, well, we won the game. I'm calling it. These guys are going to perform mass suicide here. Are you guys ready for this? Every single worker who just helped build the building. Gah! Oh no, it's just they die one at a time. <laughs> They're individually committing mass suicide. <laughs> uh, okay. Ah, uh, forget committing, making them commit suicide. Just harvest wood, guys. You know what? You can keep living. Just harvest wood. Anyway, uh, what do you guys think of Age of Empires 2 here? Is it a game that you grew up with? Have you played it before? 
if you had not played it. Did you enjoy today's uh, playthrough? Did you learn something? Does it look like a game you might play? Whatever your thoughts on this game uh, and its place in the 1001 quests, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'm not going to hang around. I'm not going to make you watch the whole 180 years till we win. Again, we're just going to assume we win. So whatever you think of the game today, as always, I hope today was fun. I hope I made it entertaining. You had a laugh. You learned something. And uh, other than that, you all take care of yourselves. And we will see you guys soon. Alrighty, guys, until next time, peace. What is this wonder supposed to be, anyway? It's just like a big house. It's like, as far as houses go, it's pretty impressive, but like, what is it supposed to be? Am I supposed to be, like, dazzled by this very large house? Does a wizard live there? Like, I, I don't get it. Fear us, for we are researching two-man saw technology. I looked at these other things to research, and just like there just does not seem to be a point to it. We're a nation that's become rich in food and wood. Poor in gold. It's okay. We have lots of wood and food. It's important for some reason. I cannot find any other buildings, by the way, that the yellow player owns. So I don't know why he hasn't surrendered. Like, do we really have to build ships and go challenge him on the seas? The red guy just has some landlogged ships, which is still pretty funny to me. Hey, 99 years, 98 years. We're getting close. Research murder holes. Eliminates the minimum range of towers. Yeah, I specialized in murder hole technology at, uh, you know, Viking University. <laughs> With a minor in... Chemistry. Gunpowder, specifically. Look at this owl flying around my wonder. Maybe this is a Harry Potter school. Maybe this is like Hogwarts school for witchcraft and wizardry. And there goes a couple of owls. Look at the owls. Confirmed. Only 75 more years. These guys are racing. These two knights. They're going to see who is number one. It seems like neither one can get a clear advantage. They trample this peasant to death on their way. Because <laughs> he was in their way. Well met, sir. We're both equals. Let's slaughter some elk to celebrate. Yeah! Yeah! Nothing pleases me more than hanging out with my best friend and slaughtering elk. Well, that was fun. Now what should we do? Trample peasants! Yeah! Trample! Too bad they don't actually get trampled. That'd be pretty funny. 50 more years. <sighs> Obviously, this would not be this, uh, you know, slow if you built this as a strategy for winning the game because the other players would all come and try and wipe this out to stop you from winning. But boy, do they have an opportunity to try. It is not a quick victory, let me tell you. My army is waiting very patiently to see what happens. They're as curious as I am. What is going to happen at the end of this game? How is it going to end? All right, 10 years left. We're down to the wire. Prediction time. What will happen? I think the facade of this building will fall away to reveal a nuclear missile silo and the nuke will launch up into the air and explode into a thousand tiny MERV missiles and nuke all of my remaining foes. Or that's what I hope will happen. I think what will happen instead is it will just say something like, all the other players bow in recognition of your excellence and you win. Congrats! One year left, here we go! Here we go! Zero years left! We're victorious! We did it! They were defeated! Game over! Click menu, then quit current game to exit. Wait. That's it? It doesn't even exit the game for us? Wait, we have to click quit? Quit. Yes. I could have done that 20 minutes ago! I could have gone to the venue and clicked quit. It doesn't feel any... Th that didn't feel like any more of a victory than if I had just quit the game. Oh my god. Alright, well, here's all my stats, I guess. In case you were curious. There they all are. I uh, killed 105 guys and blah blah blah. I can't believe that! Oh man, we were like, really powerful. Anyway... <laughs> I guess you can, uh, I guess you can wait until you actually win the game, or you can just click menu and quit, it's the same thing. 
All right. Well, there you go. The end. I hope I hope you're satisfied. Click the menu and click quit. Are you kidding me?